Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Here's where I bring to you from the world of medicine. Does consuming greens help improve type 2 diabetes? In a recent review and meta-analysis published in the journal Nutrition, Metabolism and Cardiovascular Diseases, researchers reviewed and examined available literature investigating the health outcomes of ancient grains, including oats, brown rice, buckwheat, chia and others. Diabetes mellitus, characterized by high blood sugar levels has seen a dramatic global prevalence increase projected to exceed 700 million by 2045. Alongside medical treatment, dietary changes are key in managing the condition. Ancient cereals, untouched by human genetic modification, offer promising benefits against diabetes mellitus. These greens contain higher level of phytochemicals and fibers known to lower blood sugar compared to modern varieties. In the present review, researchers aim to discuss evidence from the literature investigating ancient grain consumption outcome on diabetes mellitus patients. Specifically, the review provided an overview of the glycemic control impacts of the ancient grain on type 1 diabetes mellitus and type 2 diabetes mellitus. The ancient grain most often studies using randomized controlled trial methodologies and the effectiveness of ancient grain-based diets in managing diabetes mellitus as conventional therapeutic enhancers. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Inhaling fentanyl may cause irreversible brain damage, fine study. According to a report in journal BMJ Case Reports, inhaling the synthetic opioid fentanyl may cause potentially irreversible brain damage called toxic leukoencephalopathy. The doctors warned after treating a middle-aged man found unresponsive in his hotel room after snorting the drug. Leukoencephalopathy refers to inflammation and damage to the brain's white matter, the network of nerve fibers that enable the exchange of information and communication between different areas of brain's grey matter. Toxic leukoencephalopathy is a sudden or long-standing neurological syndrome which has been reported after heroin inhalation. The condition manifests in various signs and symptoms, the most obvious of which are neurological and behavioral changes, ranging from mild confusion to stupor, coma and death. In this case, a previously healthy man was discovered unconscious in his hotel room with unidentified crushed pills nearby. Upon admission to the hospital, he exhibited neurological deficits, including an inability to respond to questions or command and only responding to pain stimuli in his leg. Study find vaping association with risk of heart failure. According to a new study presented at the American College of Cardiology annual scientific session, people who use e-cigarettes have a much higher risk of developing heart failure compared to those who have never vaped. More than 64 million people globally are affected by heart failure, a cardiovascular condition where the heart muscle is not able to pump enough blood for the body. Heart failure can occur if the heart muscle is damaged by infection, illegal drug use, high blood pressure, a congenital heart defect, heart attack, irregular heart rhythm, certain diseases including diabetes and coronary artery disease and cigarette smoking. For this study, Yakubu Bene Alhassan, a resident physician at MedStar Health in Baltimore and lead author of the study, along with his team, reviewed data from electronic health record and surveys of more than 175,000 adults from the All of Us study run by the National Institute of Health. Upon analysis, researchers found that people who used e-cigarettes at any point in their lives were 19% more likely to develop heart failure than those who had never used e-cigarettes. They also found e cigarette use had the biggest impact on a certain type of heart failure. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.